Hey friends, this is Mayank, founder of Archidev, and today we're gonna learn how to use user defaults in our iOS application. So guys, why do we use user defaults? Say, if we want to uh, save some data locally on our mobile device, so we can easily use user defaults to save that data locally on our device, and if next time we relaunches our app, so our app will be able to remember the data, and we will not require to enter the data again in our application. So let's move ahead and get started. Let's open Xcode and create a new Xcode project. Select single view application and click next. Write a product name like I will give it user defaults. Click next and create. Now you need to go to main.storyboard file and here we will take a basic example to illustrate how could we use user defaults in our iOS application. So I will take a text field here, text field, drag it right here in our view controller, a button which could perform our actions. I will take a button and finally a label on which we can represent the results so the label now we will add some constraint to it a little quick so now that we have set the constraint let's make the outlets of uh, all these elements like I will make the outlet of text field I will give it the name name text field like this and help connect and the next one is our button so for button I will make a action and its name will be save action like this and hit connect and the next one is uh, a label also so I will name it name label and I will hit connect so let's get back to our view controller file and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write a value or input a value here and when I will click save so our system or our mobile device or our physical device or our simulator will be able to save that value locally so that we, when we will relaunch our application that value will write here and we will not uh, we will not require to enter the re-enter the value so let's get started with our view controller file and in the save action let's write name label name label dot text will be equal to name text field dot text and in the next line let's write user defaults dot standard dot set and here we here you can see that we can set the value for any for key string for value bool for string for key string again and for double float int like that here we will take value any and in this any we will write name text field dot text like this and for key let's say the key is name and now we will make our text field space blank so that the user can re-enter some other value after clicking the save button like this now we're gonna write uh, or we're gonna override a function which is view did appear so why am I, am I using view did appear rather than view did load so say if we uh, use view did load in this case and here I'm going to do error handling so if I will check the value or extract the value of our redeem text field variable or anything else so in the case of view did load maybe the value uh, will be in the process of uh, loading or maybe not extracted so if I will try to extract some value from here and if it's not loaded yet so we will be most likely to get a crash so that's why I will be using view did appear here 
and in view data pair we will write if let say x will be equal to user defaults dot standard dot object and the object for key is name like this and it will be of a string type all right so if our user defaults have some value so it will set the value to our name label sorry its name label name label dot text will be equal to x so that's how we can uh, prevent ourselves from any kind of crash so let's build and run this app and see what happens so here we have our final application and if we will write here say Indian Army for me Indian Army is the best army so I will write Indian Army and will click on save so let's relaunch our app and see does it save the value locally or not we have relaunched the application to see yes it has saved the value Indian Army so like that if we write here Indian say armed forces armed forces and click save like that and I will relaunch the application once again so now you should be here having Indian armed forces on the display so that's how it saves the value locally and it generally saves non-complex non data so just explore this out and try it yourself and if you like the tutorial please hit the like button down below and subscribe my channel for more such videos in future so see you in the next one bye bye jai hind